your scholar, Peter Quill, has been teaching me about your world. He has suggested that if I want to start my journey of understanding the complex and intricate Terran... Understanding you Terrans is just one of the reasons we are here today at Epcot. We hope we may learn from each other and dedicate ourselves to our sort of combined knowledge of every Zendarian that has ever lived. from the natural world. And caring for the environment is one of our core principles. Our lush, exotic gardens are the envy of the galaxy. Xandar features an unparalleled collection of arboreums and recreational areas for all to enjoy. Our biomes feature rare species of flora from across the galaxy such as advanced building materials, allow Xandar to boast some of the most remarkable structures in the universe, creating an impressive urban skyline. Over the course of our year, Xandar experiences periods of total sunlight, shifting to periods of total darkness. During the light cycle, our triple suns can appear close together in the sky, creating spectacular sunsets and sunrises. The light Thousands of years ago, the first citizens of Xandar settled on this planet, drawn to its incredible beauty and life-giving waters. In time, we built our city in honor of the Nova Corps, a beacon to all who approach our planet from space. If you look closely at the Star Blaster's design, you might discover that its wings can flare out and form a star shape, resembling the Nova Corps logo. I'm Corbin Ritter. I recently graduated from the academy where I specialize in intergalactic studies. I hope to move up the Nova Corps ranks in the work that encourages peace and collaboration. To flail around like a total fool to help save the day. You're not really making it sound as intense and dangerous as it actually looks. Well, I'm sure it is. Without the Nova Corps forces and unusual allies like the Ravagers, forward into the welcome center, making room for everyone. Thank you. <laughs> Greetings, Terrans. I am Nova Prime Irani Rayam, commander of the Nova Corps. On behalf of all Xandarians, I hope you have enjoyed exploring the wonders of Xandar. As you have seen, your world and ours were born of the same moment, one which you refer to as the Big Bang. As such, we are all galactic neighbors in a vast universe which we and countless others share. For you to travel to Xandar would take two and a half million years, assuming you had a ship that could fly at the speed of light. So we decided to come to you. But even we could not have reached you so easily were it not for the Cosmic Generator, an advanced piece of Xandarian technology that creates jump points, artificial tunnels, and act as shortcuts, linking distant points in space. It is our desire to share this wondrous technology with your people so that together we might explore new worlds and create a brighter tomorrow. And now, as the culmination of the wonders of Xandar, you will be teleported to a Nova ship above your planet for a demonstration of the Cosmic Generator. I trust you will find it an unforgettable experience. Welcome, people of Epcot. Epcotters. Epcotians. Citizens of Epcot. Does anyone know what they call themselves? What? I'm on. Someone needs to tell me when I'm on. Welcome.
Mexico, Epcot Terrence. I am Centurion Tom Merrick, and we're just about ready to teleport you up to the ship for the demonstration. As you're about to enter a secure Nova area, I must ask you to put away your Terran communication devices at this time. Recording of any type is strictly prohibited. I am very serious about this. Now, please step forward into the chamber. You're gonna love this.
cannot stop this unusually large man. Then you are likely doomed. Just a figure of speech drafts. Ah, you're lying to them. Now I understand. <laughs> 